Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's movie vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today we're talking about Deadpool possibly being in phase five of the MCU. For those that have been not following, MCU is currently going into phase four. All of the films were released with one of the first films coming out next year in May being the Black Widow solo film, which really should have been made a long time ago. But hey, I guess better late than never, even though the people attached to the film have said that they are not going to really follow the MCU or really care about what's in the comics or care about what's been already pre-established in the MCU because it's apparently taking place in another point in time, uh, basically going through her training, becoming the Black Widow as her character is now known as, and basically trying to go through it in that way. So who knows if it's going to be good or not. But one thing that we can be excited about is Ryan Reynolds is now a part of the MCU as Deadpool. So of course we know ever since Disney acquired Fox, the big question a lot of people's minds have been, when is Deadpool going to come into the universe? And also how is Deadpool going to come into the universe? Because obviously a lot of us are concerned that because it's Disney and because Disney tends to be more focused on family oriented content and does not mind basically taking the knees out of any property if it means that they get more money and more butts and seats, which PG-13 and below films tend to do more so than rated R, a lot of us have been concerned, a lot of us have been worried that they were going to try and basically limit Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool performance. Now, hopefully that is not the case. There have been some that have gone on record saying that they are not going to do that, that they're going to keep Deadpool the way that they that the way that he is because that's how he's been successful. But also even Ryan Reynolds himself has said that Ryan Reynolds, or rather it has now been teased, Ryan Reynolds has now teased that Deadpool will be indeed a part of Marvel Phase 5. So Ryan Reynolds took to Instagram to tease the arrival of Deadpool to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Phase 5. Reynolds posted an image of a conspiracy board that asked, who leaked? Referring to the test footage of the first Deadpool, the test footage and the overwhelmingly positive fan reaction to it inspired Fox executives to greenlight the first Deadpool 2, uh, first Deadpool film, which would go on to gross $363 million domestically and $783 million worldwide, which for a radar film is pretty damn good. Along with the image, Reynolds teased Deadpool's arrival in phase writing, investigating investigation heading into year five, or as I call it, phase five. The point is, I love conspiracy yawn, hashtag leak anniversary. So basically trying to say the same type of leak that happened that basically preempted and uh, rather, uh, you know, was before the first Deadpool film, uh, Deadpool film came out and was greenlit, it seems that he's doing the same type of uh, teasing. He's doing the same type of promotion for it. Now ahead, going to say, talk about Phase 5. And now that, of course, the film has done well, it's obviously a huge box office draw, including, of course, Ryan Reynolds himself. It seems to indicate that probably Disney greenlit him to do this and said, okay, yeah, go ahead, start teasing it. Now that we've talked about Phase 4, now we've talked about at least what I honestly believe is the first part of Phase 4. I could be wrong on that. They very well could have just released all the films that are going to be in Phase 4 and have it be a shorter phase than what's normal. But honestly, I honest, I really do believe that it's only going to be the first part of Phase 4 and that they'll have a more they'll have more films to announce for a second part of Phase 4. But of course, I could be wrong on that. So especially if this is something that is indeed greenlit by Disney, that they allowed Ryan Reynolds to do this, maybe this is indicating that they are being very clear, very serious about it only being a certain number of films in Phase 4 and that the next series of films, which is likely going to actually have the X-Men within it because we don't have any X-Men films coming out over the next five years or so, that tells us here that it's very likely going to happen that Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is finally going to come into the MCU. And <laughs> to be honest, this is one of the only things that I'm actually still looking forward to that I actually have any excitement about. And the reason why is because I just, as I said before, constantly about some of my other reviews, I just don't really understand the MCU at this point. I really just don't understand the directions that they're going in. It seems to me that they're starting to ignore the fans. It seems that they're really starting to try and push agenda over plots, agenda over character development. And I don't think that most fans, even the normies, are going to really take kindly to that. Though, of course, we'll have to wait and see what those films are actually going to be like because we've had other films come out recently for example like Spider-Man Far From Home which I personally liked I'm not a comics guy and so I understand why many comics fans did not like that portrayal of the character but as someone that was not comics based I gave it a solid B because I thought it was entertaining I thought it was a lot of fun, but as John Flickinger, uh, you know, a good friend of the channel had said in in a video that we did together, he mentioned that he likes his Spider-Man being in New York City, and I think that's a very good point because Spider-Man should be in New York City. He's, that's the reason why he's called the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is because he pretty much stays to that area, and it's nicer when you have these more ground-level type Avengers, with this ground-level type heroes staying into the you know, street-level type heroes staying in those areas. Though, of course, we could easily argue that Spider-Man is well above just a regular street-level hero because of... Of him being a part of the Avengers, etc. But anyway, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Are you excited for Ryan Reynolds' new movie? Are you thinking that this is going to come into Phase 5? Do you think they're going to try and maybe tease him at the end of Phase 4? I honestly think that the end of Phase 4 is going to introduce the next big bad. Obviously, there's going to be some other smaller 
uh, smaller villains, smaller tier villains um, that are going to be preparing for and leading up to the big bad, which I think is going to be a part of the cosmic universe, which is why I think Fantastic Four and unfortunately Captain Marvel and other films like it are going to play a, play a much stronger role and a much bigger role in the futures of the franchise, especially in Phase 5. And it would be really great to see Ryan Reynolds come back at some point. And to be honest, this is the only thing that I'm really looking forward to because everything else really seems to have agenda attached to it. Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool, it just, it's so self-reflective. It's so, like, we're going to go after everybody that I have to just overall love it. And so I'm actually kind of excited for that. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about this and all the things that we talked about in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash the like button, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. It helps me out a lot. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.